Okay, hi guys. So I'm finally doing an updated A5 agenda setup. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this on my Instagram and I've decided to finally film it. So let's get right into it with no delay whatsoever. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, for everything related to planners, you can find me at I'm so Wong. And yeah, let's just get through it because I know this is going to be a really long video. So let's go. So here is my A5 agenda. This is from Louis Vuitton. Uh, I got this a while back and I've been using it uh, for several years now. I, I haven't been too uh, frequent with it lately because I have been switched uh, over to a pocket planner. But uh, for the month of July, I wanna get back into it because I do love the system that I have set up over here. So anyways, let's get right into it. Agenda itself is A5 Epi Leather Agenda in black. Um, I got this like two, two or three years ago, I think. Yeah, three years ago. And um, it's served me quite well ever since. Uh, in the side over here, we have some secretarial pockets, which I put some stickers, just some everyday kind of stickers that I use. These stickers um, to do, to buy, um, the monthly um, January to December stickers and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday stickers. All of these stickers I got from Peaceful Mind Designs. I will put the link to all the shops that I talk about um, down below. And here I have a Lush one because I always buy Lush um, boxes, just like everyday easy checklist kind of um, stickers. And I love these stickers because they're effective they're like paper grade they're cheap and i love that i don't have to pay shipping and handling on them it, they all come in a little envelope and uh deliver and mail right to your house so um a lot of cost cuts for uh getting something really simple and easy so i love those and i keep them over here because it's easy access um also i have a bunch of these cards these are all kind of like dashboard decorating cards and I get these from cloth and paper they're really great um, some I got in the subscription box and some I get um, with random orders if I'm ordering one-off things so this one says gratitude and it just has the definition behind it this one says epic also with the definition behind it and then this one's one of my favorite simplicity as you can see it's a little tattered because I've had this for a while simplicity and also with the beautiful quote in the back so the definition at the back so really love this and then i also have just like a shape one which is made out of really nice cardstock and you can use these um, to decorate your planner monthly if you want to um, have some quotes or something um, it's nice to have so i just keep some of the extra ones over here over here as you can see i did the same thing with this kind of journaling card and i secured it with an ollie clip basically what an ollie clip is it's a magnetic um clasp and you can get these off of their Etsy shop online. And it's kind of like a metallic um, color finish. And it has a magnet in between, so it just holds um, paper together. So this is a great way for me to switch out uh, the, the design and the theme of my uh, dashboard when I get bored of it. So right now I'm loving this one that I got from Cloth and Paper as well. Paris, New York, London, Barcelona, Los Angeles, Milan. And I love this over here. It's really chic and yeah, I'm just vibing it with it right now. So that's why I have it on my dashboard. Uh, my dashboard itself, I actually created this um, and laminated it myself and I created this imagery um, off of Canva. I will also put the links down below. So let's move on. On the other side, I just have it on a metallic uh, craft paper that I got from Michael's Arts and Craft and I lamin I kind of like stuck them together and laminated it. This journaling card also uh, from Cloth and Paper uh, from one of their subscri subscription boxes. Uh, over here I just have this 2019 calendar that I printed out. Um, this is a freebie I found off of um, Pinterest. If you type in 2019 calendars free download on Pinterest you can find a bunch of different uh, designs and stuff. I was just uh, looking for a simple one so I found this 
printed it out and then I printed it double side um, with these little boxes over here these pink boxes these boxes I actually um, is from a pack a downloadable pack that you can actually print and let me just check really quickly what the store is called printable for planners off of Etsy I will also link that down below and this is part of their a5 basic simple essential collection printable planner inserts so you can just um, type that in in Etsy and then you can have these grids and you can reprint them on whatever paper you want uh, as long as you have a printer and the way I set it up was important dates special events top goals and notes and obviously I put some sticky notes because I don't want to show the world my important dates or my top goals uh, but I just have that all in there so I can tr track things and these are yearly things so far no, not really any special events and stuff um, and then notes as well uh, then I have this top tab that I actually used a Dymo um, label maker to print this with a clear clear tape. Um, you can buy Dymo machines for like 20 bucks at Staples and you can choose different designs. Um, the plastic divider itself, this is from Planner Press and I will have that link down below as well. Um, over here I have another printable A5 sheet of paper. And this printable is actually from 8 Lotus, uh, all off of Etsy as well. And I just printed it on a really nice smooth piece of paper. It actually comes like this um, ordinarily, one big grid, uh, dot grid paper. But um, I personally just drew in the lines and created two columns to create a to do and a to buy section. And as you can see, every grid um, I write what I need to do or to buy. And then once I achieve those things, I just check it off. So this is totally customizable. And that's what I love. I kind of um, free up the way I plan by using kind of grid paper and all these type of boxes and standard uh, things by uh, kind of drawing in my own layout. So that's a really great, great way to organize your thoughts if you're having trouble with um, kind of the paper that you own already or the downloadable uh, printable papers that you already purchased. You can definitely just divide up your own um, pages like that using a little bit of creativity. So there's that. Over here obviously it's the 8 Lotus, um, the full on grid paper. Uh, over here I have my next tab which says schedule and this is from um, cloth and paper and for cloth and paper if you guys want 10% off you can use my code it's in the description box below uh, but anyways continuing on schedule so obviously this is the calendar and then I have my monthly calendar which is in this coming up section with a, da uh, a dashboard that I also created off of Canva. If you guys are interested in these um, dashboards, let me know. Maybe I'll um, create some sort of Google Drive and you guys can download and print yourself. So that's there. Uh, over here for my monthly calendar, I love Sessa V. Uh, I've been using Sessa V's monthly calendar since the dawn of time and um, I just really love their paper quality and their design. I have this cheap little um, eBay Today top tab um, ruler and then I just flip to the month and there would be my monthly overview. It's not filled in right now because today is the 2nd of July and I haven't had time to sit down and really um, plan out all of July yet so I'm working on that coming up soon but um, I just love how I can just easily flip and then get to the page and I do love having so many inserts as well because I can divide up my monthly my to do's and then also the weekly is the next tab uh, above so if I just want a quick flip like that I don't have to rely on just my cloth and paper side tab so I like to mix dividers as well so yeah that's that so that's all of my um, monthlies and then weekly as you can see here's the weekly top tab again um, oh yeah this is a printable from I forgot little magic prints I believe I don't know I'll leave the link down below but you can print this out and um, yeah I just made like this little pocket as well but anyways this is the weekly and these are the weekly printable inserts and these are actually from another Etsy shop 8 Lotus and it is the minimalistic weekly planner a5 half size weekly inserts and yeah um, these are just a printable file I paid five dollars for these and you could continue printing and printing um, week to week and I just love it I set it up like this with a high gray highlighter the days and then I just use the to-do list notes and everything like that and then I also put this little Avery tab here sometimes because it sticks out and it's easy to just flip to the week because I do love weekly planning. So then I just have a bunch of blank ones over here. 
um, to use for the coming month. And some are double-sided, some are not. It just depends um, on the mood. So there it is. Um, the next one is this printable that I also purchased off of Etsy. And this one I like as well because it brings a little bit of color. I, I'm quite minimalistic, but sometimes I do like to see a little bit of color in the week. And this one is also from a Etsy shop and it's a printable. And this one is the um, printable for planners um, product as well. And it's a weekly at a glance um, A5 uh, what do you call it A5 insert and what I like about these is when you flip it you can cut the corners and as you can see you can see Monday to Saturday to Sunday over here and you cut off the corners so you can just easily flip to whatever day of the week it is and it is a morning afternoon and evening planner so this is if you have a really really busy week coming up you can divide up your time really well um, and do a lot of time management using these kind of inserts and I love that and I love the design it is so unique and I just love how you can just like flip to it isn't that like genius I love that I'm not a huge fan of daily inserts so I really love um, this kind of design as well um, because I can just easily flip and get organized um, but yeah this one makes it really simple because it does cut out like three blocks and you can play around with stickers and all that stuff you're you're feeling like you're in that not so minimalistic mood uh, which actually for the most part I am very minimalistic but yeah this is a nice change and I love these inserts so moving on um, my next tab over here is lists and I love this. Um, I just love writing down places to go. Um, shopping list, this shopping list printable. Oh yeah, this marble paper, sorry, is also from Sesame. Yeah, but um, next on the list section, I also have grocery list. This is a free printable from Day Designer and they have a bunch of free printables on their website as long as you give them your email and they will send you like a bunch of emails for things, but I don't really care. Um, I have like a separate email that is all for like online kind of subscriptions and all those things and I just um, put in that email for all these type of nonsense. But anyways, Day Designer over here and then I love it because it splits up produce, meat, fish, dairy, eggs and then it has these little check boxes here so you can check things off as well so that's really cool and then I think I just have more line paper oh yeah and then I have more notes paper over here it's just dot grid from 8 Lotus so this is different from the other 8 Lotus printable which was uh, square grid so these are dot grids right here it's just easy to write down notes and lists of things you want to accomplish okay next up is the wellness tab over here I don't know if you can see wellness tab and then I flip over and then I have a mood tracker also from the um, Etsy shop printable for planners and I've been using this but I kind of fell off the ball on uh, June I didn't use it for June but I'm again using it for July um, I tracked my May a little bit uh, but then I fell off because when these markers were not available um, to me I forgot I just forgot to it was like became a bit of a hassle so then I simplified it even more and now instead I'm using symbols with a black pen to track my mood so as you can see I've already done two uh, for the beginning of July as well moving on I have the next tab over here which says projects and if you switch over here I have this printable again this one is from 8 Lotus I believe yes it's a downloadable printable and um, yeah it just has a really nice layout I printed on some really nice thick um, paper smooth paper and I really like using these to plan out projects and these don't have to be like actual like project projects I use it for self growth and all of that stuff as well so if you wanted to write down different project names your objectives brainstorming tasks with the due date um, this really helps you keep on track as well so I love this printable for my project section so that's in there as well I also have some plain note paper from um, cloth and paper I love this because it's really stylized even though it's like a blank piece of paper I can draw on this I can make charts on this I can make graphs on this I can doodle on this I can write notes on this it's a kind of like a free-for-all but it does have a little bit of structure whereas you can uh, scribble in your date or highlight in the date um, time month all of that jazz up here so that's really nice as well so this is kind of like a free-for-all kind of page also from cloth and paper next up I have a finance tab this one is just like an extra 
little um, tab that I have. Um, I, I have two finance dividers back to back as you can see because I haven't thought of what to put in here. But I'm thinking to put in some sort of dashboard or something but that might be overkill. <laughs> I don't know. So that's there. And then I have my finance tab from cloth and paper. And over here I created these um, little laminate props. Okay, my camera just cut off, but I'm in the finance section right now. So finance tab, finance section. Um, I just have these stickers that I created. Uh, well, I didn't create the stickers. I created this pocket to put the finance stickers. And as you can see, you can open from above and pull out these finance stickers the finance stickers i got from peaceful mind design as well they have very nice minimalistic stickers um calculators big events all that kind of jazz as well so i just have that in there and then on the other side i have another day designer um tracker and this is my bill pay checklist and you can get this for free off of their website as well so you can track what the bills are your monthly bills your quarterly bills and your annual bills and then you can um, write down the amount and then check it off your list as well to make sure that you're on track with that so I just have a few of those printed here obviously it's like for the full year so I won't have to print this out um, for the next four years I guess but yeah it's this was really nice to have as well I have some more grid paper because you never know when you need grid paper. And again, as I mentioned before, this is from that same Etsy shop, uh, a printable from Printable for Planners. Yeah, so all grid paper in this finance section. Obviously, I took out my usual inserts, so I'm not putting my business all out there, but there's that. Um, anyways, next tab is goals and ideas, which is a really fun one as well. Um, when I flip it over, I have dreams and goals. Um, this is from Little Magic Prints, which is a nice shop that I like as well. And they have some kind of like sassy printables and I just printed them on A5 size. And yeah, I really love the font and the light um, eyelashes and eyes, kind of like a visualization kind of theme um, border. It's really clean and simple. And what I typically do is I list number one to, I think it goes to 30, I don't know, one, two, I'm not gonna count it but it, it has like lines so I just put numbers and then I write the dreams and goals I have um, that come to my mind for this year and I just put them down there and it's nice to write things out so you put yourself accountable and yeah I guess it's kind of like that manifestation thing as well so nice to do that I'll have to put that page back in here afterwards when I'm done with this video but yeah that's typically what I do I like number it and then I write it out miscellaneous section so this miscellaneous section I just have another one of these um, these pocket things that I created out of laminated sheets of paper that I punched and it just holds more stickers so these are more specific stickers such as the headache stickers the weather tracking stickers and just these little heart stickers that I like as well and then boxes stickers and flag stickers as well then at the very very back I have this little document folder oh if I can take this out and um, bits and bobs note paper this is from cloth and paper it's really nice it has like foiled lettering and it's like a nice hard cardstock which is really great because your markers nothing bleeds through for these and I love this to write down um, random notes if I have them and then also I have over here a little dashboard card also from cloth and paper which is a5 size I am thinking of punching it but I also like that um, I can have the option maybe to use an ollie clip instead so I don't ruin this but I also got this from the cloth and paper subscription box and it just has really cool quotes and it's like a nice thick cardstock as well so I'm just holding that back there for now and again another one really nice quality so let me just put this back in this little pocket and this little folder pocket this um, Palm Springs looking one um, this is from shop minted sugar which she has a website but she also has an Etsy shop so you can buy it off of either one and I love it it's like a nice sturdy laminated pocket and I've had this for over three years now and it's served me very well and it turns really nicely as well which is important when it comes to something a little bit more bulky so that's there then I have this cheap Filofax little thing to hold even more miscellaneous stuff uh, I actually sketched this this is like my own drawing and I really liked it so I just laminated it and then stuck it back there 
And then I also have some random stickers I got from Besame Cosmetics that I had nowhere to put, but I thought it was pretty, so I just put it at the back. I have nothing in the back because I don't really want to stretch out my other pockets too much. But um, yeah, and at the same time, I don't want my planner to be too bulky, but this is how the back of the planner looks like if you guys are wondering and want to purchase um, this exact same planner. And then it has the little clasp there. It also has a pen loop, but I usually uh, use this as a desk agenda, so I'm at my desk anyway, so I have my pens available, so I don't put any pens in here anymore. Uh, and at the same time, it helps to not stretch out the leather if I want to resell, resell this planner in the future. But that's that. That is how I organize my minimalistic A5 agenda. I hope you guys liked this video, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!